It's the 4th of July weekend, so it's only fitting that we share with you the story of an eagle rescued by a veteran. Earlier this week, Jason Galvin and his neighbors noticed an eagle dangling from a tree near Rush City. Its leg was caught in a piece of rope that was wrapped around a branch about 70 feet off the ground. Known for his sharp shooting skills, Jason shows us how he used a gun to save the eagle's life. I thought maybe it was dead at the time, and I took a closer look with some binoculars and saw that the head was moving and it was very much alive. A trip to go by minnows turned into a mission to save a bird. It was stuck on a talon by hanging from a rope on the branch. Jason Galvin and his wife Jackie called the police, the fire department, and the DNR. Everybody had the same thing to say that they were all aware. They've been aware for two and a half days, but unfortunately it wasn't within their jurisdiction and the safety measures that were going to be compromised. Jackie begged her husband, an Army veteran who served two tours in Afghanistan, to shoot the four inches of rope that were holding the eagle. After getting the go-ahead from the DNR, Jason grabbed his 22 long rifle using his own eagle eye to attempt an unlikely rescue. It was kind of weird actually shooting in the direction of a bald eagle. I was very nervous. I didn't want uh, at all to hit that bird. Battling leaves, branches, the wind, and a mid-afternoon sun, Jason took shot after shot, trying to break through the branch and the rope. His persistence paid off as the branch, the rope, and the eagle all came free. Took an hour and a half, about 150 shots. I had to bust down a few branches to be able to expose the rope and then finally it started chipping the rope away. And we all just watched it kind of fumble down into the branches. A neighbor and a conservation officer helped wrap the eagle in a blanket and it was taken to the raptor center. It's expected to survive. The neighbors nicknamed the bird Freedom. It had been hanging there and it was up to us to free it and it's 4th of July weekend so freedom's the name. There it is. The DNR officer on scene said Jason was so good that he basically hit the same spot every time. If the eagle recovers in the next couple weeks it will go back to where it was found. If it takes longer it will go to a nature center first to learn how to hunt. It's pretty young right now but veterans do a lot. Here's just another example of that. Truly on incredible. 4th of July weekend. It really was. Wow yeah. that's just great.